Therefore, you expect. I wonder if I could put the point uh, which Dr. Schumacher has made uh, somewhat more forcefully, if possible. Uh, I am surprised that in the exchange, the point he made is not taken uh, and answered. Uh, what is at issue is that in your beliefs, you are saying it is wrong to kill an animal. <coughs> it is possible, I don't say this to justify the killing of animals, but it is, it is possible for an animal to be killed by a man in a way that involves far less suffering to the animal than it would die in its natural state. But what seems to be such an infinitely greater evil, an infinitely greater crime against the natural <coughs> order, is, for example, to take one chicken and put it in a cage the size of a shoebox and then add two more chickens to it and then keep them there for the whole of their short natural life, unnatural life. Uh, but it seems to me, and I think to Dr. Schumacher, that this is a, an abomination of the spirit far greater than the mere killing of animals. But uh, it, it, it seems to be an insult against creation to treat the animal life in this manner. And yet you do not appear to be shocked by it, as you are shocked by the mere fact of killing. It is more shocking than killing? Far more. What happens is they, they have large factories where they have thousands and thousands and thousands of chickens in a very tight space. Uh -huh. They breed them for slaughter. Uh -huh. And young cows, calves, are kept in a dark shed, deliberately kept in a dark shed and fed on an unnatural diet. They are not allowed to move, they are just kept in a space the size of their body. And uh, for eight weeks, three months, they are fed on unnatural food, milk uh, powder or something, uh, devoid of uh, certain necessary vitamins to make the flesh whiter, uh, so that it gets a bucket. But that unfortunate beast, instead of walking in the fields of the open sky, is shut him down. All right, if you are so compassionate, you can kill those animals. But why maintaining slaughterhouse, killing nice animals? Well, he's talking. He's just <coughs> saying that the way they're maintaining the slaughterhouse now uh, has become even more inhuman. They don't. They don't even leave the animal in the field anymore. <coughs> well, the simple point, simple point is that the slaughterhouse activity necessitates to raise them in that way. As soon as there's a question of animal killing, then naturally you want to be expedient as possible. So if you abolish the animal killing automatically, this breeding animals in this fashion will also automatically stop. But the slaughterhouse becomes a temple of mercy given these conditions in which the animals are. Yeah, as long as you maintain the slaughterhouse, then there'll be people to breed animals to supply to the house of slaughter. As Isn't soon it? as there's no more slaughterhouse, then animals are free. They I, can go everywhere. I think you are avoiding the point. So this no, is not all this. It's the solution. If you want to stop that treatment of animals, you stop the slaughterhouse. Otherwise, first you keep them in the field to slaughter. That's already brute mentality. That brute mentality means, next I think, I could get more flesh if I didn't let this cow move. So let me keep him in a cage, in the dark, so you have lighter meat. And this is one stage of brute mentality to another stage of brute mentality. Next stage of brute mentality, they're already killing the unborn child. Now next, the child is born. That's the next stage of brute mentality. Now that that is predicted in the theory is that when the child comes out of the womb, then he gets the soul. Is it not? Yes. Not within the womb. Yeah. What kind of theory it is? For killing the child within the womb, they have discovered this theory. I think uh, if there is any difficulty, uh, I mean, I happen to be a vegetarian, hmm. but uh, I would hesitate a long, long time before I would make meat eating the touchstone on which I would judge a Jesuit. I don't think uh, I could see in this such a central position and the evils that are going on that have to be fought are in comparison with meat, e meat eating gigantic and therefore to refuse to accept that even a meat eating Jesuit may be a far better man than a 
vegetarian who is uh, engaged in all sorts of nefarious practices, I think one should be a bit careful. Of <laughs> if you come out of a civilization where this has been customary all, all throughout history, therefore, through uh, all throughout history, I know, I have, why has there been peace in our civilization? Because we're practicing these four things mm. meat, animal killing, mm. intoxication, illicit sex life, and gambling. According to Vedic uh, scripture, these four activities are the sum and substance of sinful life. And sinful life means uh, pollution or reaction. You're getting, just like you make an automobile, you get the reaction, air pollution. So if you kill animals, you will be killed. You think and and intoxication itself means that you're polluted. Toxic means poison. Poison means pollution. So if you indulge in intoxication, uh, everything you do, say and think, it will be polluted. If you kill animals, the result is you're polluting nature's, right? there are laws of nature, animals are part of nature, you're part of nature. So if you disturb nature, that means you're polluting the nature. And you are living in that nature, so you're suffering the reaction. The Buddhists have a, a good a good well, point on this. It's common sense, that's all. Thank this you. is not the Thank question you. of Buddhist, Christian, and Hindu. It's common sense philosophy. Uh, the Buddhists have a good compromise on this. They say, uh, you can eat meat. No, but no but strict you Buddhist will say. You're not allowed to kill animals for eating meat. No, it is. So they let the Muslims kill the animals. Mm. Let no, the Muslims I, kill, and if I take, if the Muslims kill the animal and I take the meat, I become animal killer. Well, if I important. sell the meat, if I cook the meat, if I distribute the meat, if I eat the meat, I'm the same as the man who slaughters the animal. There's a Vedic verse eight that explains that. Eight kinds of criminals. In killing animals, there are eight kinds of criminals. 